Okay, this is Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com. I'm in uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. I've traveled nonstop for 16 plus years and I'm on my 99th country. Um, okay, hello Andy. I'm leaving for London, London tomorrow from Chicago where, I'll, where I live. I'll be traveling to numerous countries alone as well as, as with friends. The trip will be with uh, two friends from London and we will go to Belgium, Germany, Prague, possibly possibly Prague, <laughs> Croatia and other and on to Amsterdam and back home from there. Do you always travel by bus or do you also travel by train? I, I, I neither travel by bus and I neither travel by train. I travel by whatever <laughs> way is cheapest and the most efficient in a way. Um, the train is a very comfortable way to travel but it's a very difficult thing to book. Uh, I'm a wanderlust person, so I usually like the bus because I'll give for example right now. I, I'm I'm taking a bus, a bus. I'm going to go to Thessalonica or something like that, Greece from Bulgaria. And there's one train that leaves at like three o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon, and arrives in uh, Greece at uh, in the dark, right? Or I can take a bus at nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, or something on Sunday, and I can arrive there at a reasonable hour. Um, and probably the bus is cheaper but the train is more comfortable so but is it comfortable to arrive in a city in the dark no so sometimes we we just uh, asshole backwards in a way <laughs> people do things to me just they don't see the long picture they, they they buy some comfort then arrive in the middle of the dark like that's some kind of wisdom but really it kind of but I mean, the, the most comfortable way to travel is really to, to get on a bus at like 9 o'clock at night and arrive at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning or something. The problem is you don't see any of the countryside. And uh, I really think the buses show me more of the world than the train because the train goes zooming faster than a bus and doesn't stop. And it, it, it often has trees around it. Even though it's beautiful, it's like swishing between them. I can't really take pictures as good. Although it's really beautiful inside the bus, it's uh, not easy for me to really take a long glance because it moves faster sometimes, not always. But I, in Europe, talking about Europe, the, the cheapest way to travel in Europe for the longest dip distance is a, is a plane. Uh, the second is a, a bus and the third is a train. So um, the train is a very expensive way. But if I had a daughter or a son going to Europe, I would uh, give them the Europe Pass if I could. A very expensive thing, really expensive. It's going to cost you about thirty dollars a day, which is about like buying a, a twenty-euro ticket every single day of the week. Which I don't have to do. I only have to buy it like three to every three days. I buy a twenty-euro bus ticket, uh, and so the bus is a lot cheaper. But the, the advantage of the train is that um, you know you can get on and off, and sometimes. Uh, the kids in high season they sleep on the train. That's the only place they have to sleep. Like last night, some girl slept in the common area down here because she ran out of money. Um, this is a real possibility, and uh, a lot of times people get so drunk and so much so so disorganized that they didn't they leave for the place thinking they're going to find a room and then they don't find a room and they did sleep in the train. I did this. I bounced off of Italy one time. I went into Cinco something. And I couldn't get a, I got on a train and ended up in Austria. Uh, I slept on the train. So there's I take the cheapest thing. I I there's what you got to look at it is there's a strategy and it's an optimization of your travel. It's not a yes or no proposition. That's that's the wanker way out is to just say I'm taking only trains or I'm only taking buses or I'm only hitchhiking uh, as if. It's a very judgmental thing and it's an enforcing a judgment against our reason. I mean obviously there's going to be times when certain types of transportation is just the the optimal way of traveling. So, uh, But in Europe most of the time I do the buses and outside of Europe I almost only do the buses and I avoid the uh, shuttles, the, the vans at all costs because I get real car sick. So, uh, I mean they, they really to me are a very uncomfortable way to travel. But, uh, you know, so that's the answer, I guess. Thank you. Andy Graham, Hobo Traveler in Sofia, Bulgaria.